Hello, everybody, and welcome to Max Gentleman Sexy Business. So we played the demo a little while back on this channel, and I had bought the game pretty much when it first came out. But because I had been under quarantine in another state, um, I hadn't been able to. Uh, I, mean, I haven't been able to play the game. So now that I'm back in my own recording setup. Uh, by the way, again, I had to come back here because I had to use a computer for school. So please, 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 please social distance as much as you can and be sure to still take this seriously even if your state is still opening up. Also try and wear a mask in public if not to protect yourself but to protect others around you. Uh, so definitely do that. Um, if you don't have a mask, uh, you can always use a bandana or like an old t-shirt. Plenty of tutorials online. That is my little public health quip uh, of this uh, this video here. But we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm not actually sure what it. Oh, oh, she talks. Ah, the holy grail, the holy sound of smutty content for the channel. Love it, love it so much. It does not display overly sexy art or costumes on the screen. Can be revealed at your discretion. Good for friends and family. Safe-ish mode. Okay, so maybe actually we're gonna play in safe-ish mode because then I can just reveal this later And if I still need to block it, that's fine. So we'll do the click to reveal Um, which I hope you guys don't mind, but unfortunately, I'm still worried about YouTube censors. <gasps> it's the god of business Welcome to the world of Max gentlemen. Let's start by making a gent sona Okay, so I can't make a naked one this time, but I'm gonna try and like make one that I think appeals to me so like my body type is somewhere in between this. Like, honestly, I would say my hips are like that. Um, but my middle portion looks like that. And then it goes back up to the boobs right here. <laughs> it's really unfortunate. Um, I'm built like an awkward, little awkward Victoria's Secret model. Just not as tall. Couldn't unfortunately be made that tall. I'm very sad about that. Um, so I think that this is pretty much my accuracy. Oh, I'm pretty tall. Um, not... I'm like five, five, eight. The you guys don't have a bright red. This is, this is, this is misogyny that you guys don't have a bright red <laughs> lipstick. <laughs> Everybody in the comments, you have my permission to go. Okay, Karen. Oh God, none of these are my color. Oh, I want a red. How come you have yellow, but I can't have a deep dark red. This is insulting. Okay, it's fine. Um, I don't, do I want a mustache? Yes, I do want a mustache. I look sexy, I look like King Princess, but without some of that misogynistic, homophobic shit that she keeps spouting about in interviews, I'm sorry. So I think that this is voice acted. Oh, look at that, boss. <laughs> what? what is happening? Boss, there you are. Um, I, I don't know. What was I doing beneath the desk? I was trying. Yes. After all that hassle we went through to build those secret tunnels, it won't be a waste not to use them. Especially since we had to desecrate that ancient burial ground and then fight all those ghosts while you were gone. Guys, I I'm a dick, okay? I desecrated an ancient burial ground. At least they died doing what they loved. Jesus. <gasps> Whoa. Boss! Hello, sir. I was not aware you had returned from your grand adventure. Some staff informed me they heard rustling coming from your office. So I ran to fetch the home invasions. <laughs> There's a home invasion sword. I'm terribly sorry for the mess. Of course! You know it's my sworn duty to recklessly throw my life away to protect your estate. That's disturbing. This is this capitalism simulator? Enough about us. <laughs> you simply must tell us about your grand adventure. Why are your cities out, woman? No. I'm sorry, you get to wear whatever you want. I'm just wondering if I'm an asshole that made you wear that. Indeed. I'll take dutiful notes and send our town criers out once we've decided how best to frame your exploits. Now then, remind me, what was the initial purpose of this expedition? Um... Overthrow a semi-corrupt government for a gang of likable rev rebels. 
I didn't know a single punch could kill someone. <laughs> what? No. No. I'm doing it. I'm sorry. All of them. <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! Okay. If I'm not mistaken, your return trip should have lasted a few more days. How did you come to arrive so soon? Is that? Is that morally right that I came to a village to help them and then they all had sex with me? Your return trip sort of lasted a few more days. How did you arrive so soon? I drank too much the last few days and woke up in London. That 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 is kind of accurate to how I live my real life though. I drank too much and then I forgot about what happened. Wonderful. I'll compile these notes and send word immediately. I've taken the liberty of arranging a knighting for your service to the crown. It should make for a good ending to your tale. Since you've returned on such short notice, we could only find a duchess. I hope that's acceptable. She's downstairs. Wait, what? Myself and her majesty are going through some shit right now? Surely she'll get over the loss of that one soon enough. <gasps> oh Let us make haste. Oh, I forgot. I'm sorry. My little light's not on, which gives the Duchess in our knighting room. Yourself have already received the maximum number of knightings a person is allowed to receive. We've arranged for the family business to be knighted. In recognition of your service to England, toppling a struggling government, and through a loophole granting businesses the same rights as people, I hereby grant your family business the great honor of knighthood. Oh my god, we live in an England where citizens united past. No. <laughs> I'm an asshole. Oh, silly me. I've forgotten the paperwork. Let me just go get that. Boss, it, um, it appears that our business has been stolen. What? Impossible. Who would dare do such a- How can you steal a business? So wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Y'all have Citizens United passed into law, but you don't have any copyright, any sort of trademark infringement protection? <laughs> Lock down all the doors and windows! No one leaves or enters! Lock the Duchess in the dungeon until we sort this out! There's a mystery afoot! <laughs> Everyone grab a magnifying glass from the barracks! That's not all, boss. There was a legend. The bastard is gloating? The nerve of it. We open the letter. Dearest ass face, it is I, your rival. While you are off cavorting and being a jerk, I have acquired your family business. If you're wondering how I did it, consider asking your servants about the vault cleaners who came by while you were gone. I knew the vault cleaner wasn't normally scheduled for a Tuesday. Consider this letter an official challenge. I double dog dare you to take back your company. Also, I stole all your money. Now your finances match your taste. Poor. Best wishes, your rival. <sighs> it's a poorly drawn stick figure a cartoon of your rival dropping a megaphone. <laughs> has just arrived. Your good name has been dragged through the mud, and everyone related to you has exiled themselves in disgrace. But worst of all, we're Sounds like more <laughs> I think I might be of service. Oh my god, can I hook up with you? Now, how did you avoid my curtain traps? Don't worry. I'm merely here to extend my hand in friendship. You know, she says that it's friendship, but you know that she actually means that she wants you to hit it because that those 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 words. They're in rainbows. She she does not want your friendship. She wants to hit it. Why would you help? I'm penniless. I have an interest in seeing you succeed. And more importantly, I have investment capital. 
By my calculations. Is she the confused math lady now? <laughs> We could easily grow a company to rival your rival and take back the family business. But having to earn money, Box has never had to do such a thing. I made my fortune by killing some rich guy and taking his stuff, not working. I'm sure they could walk you through. Well, yes, I do know everything there is to know about business. And I am well trained in the deadly arts of the hostile takeover. The business world's most glorious way to die. Mm. Well, then, <coughs> it sounds like the path ahead is clear. Then don't confuse my intentions for charity. I will merely be able to provide a loan. You will still be needing to pay me back in a timely fashion. With my body? <laughs> I'll be forced to take your company and any assets you require. Assets. I get your drift. Okay, this lady really wants me. But let's not worry about any of that now. So, what do you say? Shall we get down to business? Well, I am the Max Gentleman, and this is some sexy business, so yes. Yes for my family honor. I don't have a family. <laughs> Guys, I don't know what's happening. It is my duty to make this process as painless as possible for you. Let's get started, shall we? Gonna need to partner with other beautiful rich people to r run the various branches of your new company. I've arranged a meeting and greet with a couple of executives interested in partnering up with us. Why don't you introduce yourself to one of them? Um, Penny? How do you do? Don't answer that. This is a business meeting. There's no time for personal feelings. I'm here to join my metalwork company with yours. We mostly make decorative architecture, but sometimes we make weaponry, and even more rarely, I like to dis dabble in metalwork clothing. The latter of which hasn't really panned out yet. Too much pinching. Either way, I'm sure you'll find my company to be a valuable asset going forward. What is this? Dear boss, in close, you will find my qualifications. What is... What is she doing? This is some kind of... Is this like a steampunk competition? With a steady supply of wor willing workers, we can now face up to any challenge. It seems your executive is a little moxie. You can tell their moxie... Their current moxie by the color drained from their icon. When executives complete tasks, their moxie goes down. When they reach zero moxie, they can no longer work. You'll need to take your exec off the board and put them in the rec room where they can rest until their moxie has been restored. So she's got to regain all of her moxie. Well done. I'll use tutorial magic to drop off the um to drop off the moxie. Now then, we are ready to do business. Assigning your executive opposite a rival company will initiate a hostile takeover, the most glorious act of the business. Each hour, they will take a chunk out of each other's workforce until one company emerges victorious. Your exec's fisticuff skill determines how many employees they defeat. Your opponent's fisticuffs works the same way against you. Later on, you'll be able to assign multiple executives to the town's course, so be sure to train everyone up. Now then, let's see how this highly tuned tutorial scenario plays out. Assign your exec to the town square now. Oh, we're, t we're taking over the company. Oh, no. Are we doing okay? We lost an employee. We won. Oh, my God, we won. Increasing your executive's market share. Now our executive will make more money at the trade building. Market share is specific to each executive, so be sure to hire a lot of executives. Is there any only the most important part, paying me back. Open the loan panel to view the status of our loan. Okay, total doing... Okay. As you can see, you're nowhere near paying me back. You can make payments in any order you want. Each installment is a little bonus for you. Choose carefully. If you don't pay by the due date, you'll go bankrupt. Honestly, you should expect to go to bankrupt a few times until you get the hang of things. But I'll be here to get you back on your feet. Oh, we can get... Oh, we can get Pip Whipple! We can get Pip! I'm gonna hire Pip! To Pip Whipple. How'd you do? I run a local construction company. There's a good chance that if you live in it, I built it. Not personally, of course. My employees do that for me. But don't get misunderstanding me. I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty. That's what happens when your mother's a cop who wishes she had a son instead of a daughter. And I respect that you've had- I'm so sorry, Pip Whipple. And I respect that you've had to bootstrap your company. I built my company from the ground up too. So I'm hoping merging with you will help us both soar to even greater heights. 
Oh my god, Pip Whipple. She's so fun. Gym membership makes the boxing ring available. What does that do? Pip, you want to go to the boxing ring? Pip is just, I don't know what we're doing here. I don't understand. I feel help. Depending on your company's morale and reputation, different events will crop up in the world. Morale and reputation are displayed just above the clock on the right um, of the main screen. If your company's morale is low, you may get riots. Riots will stop executives from building a, a, using a building until they are dealt with. If you're, I, I have to read. I don't want to read, but I have to. If your company's morale is high, a party might start outside a building. Assigned executives won't use any moxie while there is a party on that building. Parties will fade over time, so be sure to take advantage of them. Depending on your company's reputation, fans of your company will come to cheer you on while you're engaging in business combat in the town square. While fans are active, your executives will not lose employees. Alternatively, clicking on the town square while you have fans will increase the speed of the fight. Is a choice to use fans for offense or defense? Fans will fade over time, so be sure to take advantage of them. What does that mean? Girl, can you go in here? Okay, so we did this hostile takeover. So we gotta, we gotta fight this rival next? Current market share. We only have... How do I increase my market share? Is this working? I don't understand if anything is working. Oh no. It's fine. It's cool. Um, go ahead. You just acquired, acquired an exclusive barbershop membership. How? Now you'll be able to spend the money to train an executive's mustache skill at the barbershop. Don't bother questioning how the ladies take advantage of this. We all have an inner mustache that needs cultivation. Oh, women do not have inner mustaches. It's all external, baby. The higher an executive's mustache skill, the more employees they recruit from the slums. But be aware that the cost to train skills increases as their skills go up. We've got a loan due in four days. The entire loan is due in like four days? That's wild. I don't know if I've I'm, if I've done any of this right. I've, I've paid off my loan. I think that that's good. Pay off your first loan. So boxing credentials asset now available. View achievements. So I paid off my first loan. I have to pay off the second loan, third loan, $10,000, have a million, train and fist exec. Oh my god, there's so much to do here, guys. So, unfortunately, I do have to bring this episode to a close as I've been recording for a really long time, but I'm definitely going to get, like, right on making another episode. If you guys like this series and you want to see me play more, please leave a like. It really does help the channel out. Subscribe. Share this video with your friends. When you hit the subscribe button, be sure to hit the notifications bell so you get updates on when I upload future videos. I typically upload on Tuesdays and Thursdays, but I also occasionally upload a very special bonus video on Wednesdays when I have time. So, Without further ado, thank you all so much for watching. Bye!